Amazing. So they're not really telling me who the first captain is. So I think we have to do rock, paper, scissor for that. All right, let's go, ready? miss. Come on, bud. But why do they say it's rigged? I don't know. That's weird. That's why do you think it's rigged? Weird that people are. It is weird. Chat, why are you being weird? Hey, I turned the bot off that automatically made you guys captain. That's really You're weird. Saying it was XQC. Weird, just weird. The production is telling me it is absolutely Mesquif and Nick. Are you guys ready for a rock paper? I am scissor? ready. I am ready. Okay. On your mark? On shoot. Why don't we just tell them why we're captains? No, let's do this first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's one for me. Oof. All right, tell me what to do. Come here. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's game for me. All right. Wait, you said scissors, you didn't make me? Okay. Well, I... Nick, you are first captain. You get first pick today. Okay, so let's get everyone. On the bleachers. Wait, I think Soda should be captain, down, by the way. Basic trees. Everyone, can we so, please sit down on the bleachers? If you want, if you want the truth of why me and Miz are captains, we're gonna we're gonna make sure the teams are as fair as possible. Last week we had some I would do it too, some team whatever. some team imbalances. What do you mean imbalance? Um, that was smart. That was actually very smart what we did. That was very smart. That was. But last week we had a team and someone was crying oh, and their yeah. team was down really bad. Yeah, that person was me. What okay. I'm not on Nick's team. I'm not gonna be on Nick's team. My team's gonna beat Nick's team this week, and that's it. M Miz is tired of taking L's to me, so we we're just gonna sell it once and for all, right so here. So I'm right the now. captain. I don't give a shit if Chance is supposed to be. Yeah, who? It was Soda and uh, BJP. Oh, that would've been really good. That would've been really good. Yeah, too bad you guys got scammed. It is really what good. it is. Uh, deal with it, guys. Twitch Prime. All right, <laughs> let's go. First okay. pick. Nick gets first pick. Then Miss Skiff second. It's like backyard baseball. What the fuck is this? It is I found you, you're What? They're gonna do a snake draft because I feel like that's probably the best way to organize this. I think that they're. Are we ready to pick? We are ready to pick. They are going right. to. It starts. So scramble I through this the way they scissors. always do. All and right. Clearly, with the first pick, obviously we're picking Cipher. Come on. No. Give it up for Cipher, everyone. Yes. Applause. I want to see the party. Yeah. I want to see the party. Right. Wow, Miskip. I wonder who Miskip is gonna pick next. Who are you gonna pick? I'm gonna go with a chat vote. I'm like Nick. Who doesn't oh, he's gonna let the chat vote. Who do I pick? That's just, that's such bullshit. That was a good stream, honestly. <laughs> he's, he's crying already, we've started. <laughs> it's not defeat. Listen, there's good players there. Come on, Miz. Damn, your ego must be through the roof right now. How do you feel? I haven't played really, chat, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoying. Who are you gonna pick? Pick, pick. Chad has pick, bad pick, picks. Pick, pick, I'll pick. pick uh, uh, I want Rob, but I feel like Rob's not gonna do it after like six minutes. I got E Rob. Oh, e Rob! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> E! No, 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 no class. <laughs> yeah. Woo! So, that was a good pick. That was a really good pick. But I'm picking. BJP, let's, let's get it. Go. Let's go, oh, let's go, no. let's go. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Hey, will Brick get mad if I don't pick her? Don't pick her. I'm not gonna okay. pick her. Get Rob. We, have to, have, we have to have What'd a- you What'd you say? Don't pick Brit. You hear that? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You hear what he's saying about you? What? He said don't pick Brit. We Brett. need his, uh, his oh. big body to cover You don't wanna be on team with Rob? What? You don't wanna be on his team? Damn. She said she doesn't want to lose again. No, I don't want to lose because they have a really bad track record. Says you. What? You're dating him. What? You're dating him. What's that supposed to mean? All right, let's fucking get, uh, dude, Chance looks good tonight. Let's get Rob, get in here. Stop <laughs> Seriously, dude? They're doing e Rob. Dude. What, man? Oh, they're okay. They're all right. Our next pick, Maya. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Why are you guys so far back? All right. Hundred percent. There's literally no one else. Why are we walking? What are you guys doing? Go ahead and take me already. Production, all right? Just don't worry about it. Who are you picking? What is this? Hmm. Why are you going to let him lead it? I'm telling you, 100%. No, he's all shit. 
I'll pick fucking, can I pick Jeff? Jeff allowed? Yeah, Jeff's playing. All right, I just want to know if Jeff's allowed. I don't want Jeff. I want Chris for you. <laughs> Let's go! Got a point guard. Right, I'm yeah. trusting wow. you. I'm at a genetic difference. So I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> That's fine. Be great. Okay, this next pick, I have. I'm very happy about this next pick. I'm not. I am. We're going with soda popping. Let's get it. <laughs> Go. Oh. Later, losers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, who's a loser? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Let's go, baby. Hey, team. Yeah, just have them down here. Dude, Nick, you're, you're making these teams unfair. You're choosing to pick <laughs> every single person on that team. You pick Cypher PK, this is not fair. It's already over. Him and Rob are the same. Oh, whoa. They're the same height. Oh, that means are you nothing. Can you say something? Yeah, I, I'm the same height as mine. I'm better than her. Rob versus Cypher. <laughs> mine is literally better than you. She's she better than you. I'm going I'm to I'm say that. She is better than you. How, who are you picking next? Come on. Cypher's in shape. Wait, is, can I actually pick Jeff? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll be your one. Jeff, Jeff, I want you to say it. S-Fan. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Let's get a... I don't know, man. You know who I think is a wild get card? Get Brett. Minx. Minx, you going to bite people today? You. He said you're trash. No, I did not. So if you want that, you better do that. Oh, I will. I got him out. I'll knock you out. I'll knock you out. I'm better than him. See if I could gas in a minute. Uh, Essence shaking his head. <laughs> you don't want to get picked? <laughs> we, we, need, we need a big player. We do need a big player. We have too many tweaks on our team. Pick Seer. Seer's only right here. <laughs> Mick, uh, he's saying he doesn't want to pick Sear because the performance in football. Pick Russell. They're all good players. I, I drove yeah. over with Russell today. He told me he's dead tired. Also, Russell flopped today on the floor. I'll get Russell. Mink smell, smells really good. He does smell good. He does smell good. He smells good. He smells good. He smells good. Um, um, oh, hey, I just want to say, yeah. Erob called Mink's trash, so she's mad at him. So I feel like if you pick her, she's there's yes. gonna be some heat. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But yes, I like it. All right. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. We got her. She's all right. We've decided to pick someone who, someone who who is really really beautiful and kind. Uh, we're gonna go with Minx. Yeah! You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Welcome, okay, welcome to that. How do you feel about Erob? Team, the winning team. Yeah. We got How do you feel about Erob calling you trash? I think I'm gonna bite him and take down and take out his kneecap. She's gonna bite you and take out Erob's kneecap. Whoa! I don't, I don't care. S fan, you're on my team. Hey, Minx gets to bite you though. Think Why'd you? I don't want that. Can we let them explain themselves? Why, why'd you pick S Fan? Because what, our what team is in Dude, shambles right now. We're, we're, we're broken down. We Dude, are, what? We, we're fine. Alright, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Okay. You know what? We're gonna give the next pick to my co captain, Ryan. Uh, I think we need a shooter. But I also think we need an enforcer. Now they got us, but we need an enforcer. So, Space Boy, let's go. We got Brett. Wait! Made a mistake. <laughs> we got three choices here. We have three choices. One, two, and three. Can we look at the... I didn't realize he was on your head pretty far. I completely missed it. Alright, I'm gonna pick my boy at this time. My boy, my good friend for a while. I care about him a lot. I'm gonna pick young Jeff. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! 
Mizzy! Ugh. I got you, Jeff. I got you. So, the next pick... Now, I love both <laughs> these people. It is actually gonna be up to Brit. Which team do you want to be on? All right, no, Brit! <laughs> Over there. We need a girl on our team. We need a girl on our team. Oh. You have you. You're good. Oh, Great. Do you even know what this is? A basketball. A sphere. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know? I... Okay. Let's go. We got a good team. Do we have all the girls? Yes. We have all of the women. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got it. Okay. Okay. We are Evan, Team Evan. Red. They are Team Blue. All right. Blue. Let's go get our jerseys. Let's get your jerseys. Oh. And, uh, no, no, no. Let's go back to let's go back to Rich and Wilda and see how they feel about these teams. So right. I'll be changing into our my team. Jerseys. Get a red jersey. Bye. Red, red. Hello and welcome back. Here we are, ready for the runouts of the player. We're gonna start with Team Red. Team Red, show me your players. Nick, run out. All of us. No, Nick, one by one. 2007 JV Hockey MVP Nicholas Pollum. The captain of Team Red. Here we see him struggling across the court. Then we have Sutton PJ. And if you're in Fortnite shop, the only game that he plays from that little dunk that we saw earlier. Next we have Brick, the Erop's oh, baby shit. mama, and one of the newest players here today. Then we have Maya. Woo! Maya, everyone's favorite player, Maya. She's surprisingly good at basketball. Then we have BJP Ryan, Tampa's big brother. Then we have Espen. Here we have the man with a broken nose, Space Boy. Space Boy is ready to go. And we have all the way from Ireland, Justin Minx, the ultimate Minecrafter. And she's the Look at that beautiful team. Here we all go on the line. Look at them. Wow, they're so coordinated. Great. They're so ready to play. Next we have Team Blue. Team Blue, the captain himself. I mean, that was so cool. I don't even know what to say. I actually want them to win now. Okay, okay. Are yeah. you, uh, what, what is your plan now? Uh, I need to go to the bathroom, but now it's time to warm up, get okay. stretches. Um, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here, come on in, come on in. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Is to be a part of it? Come on. All right, go to the right first. Oh, okay. Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who, 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 Teams, while the teams go warm up, we're gonna get back to Rich. All right, we need to stretch. See how they feel about those introductions. So, uh, both teams are gonna go lead each their warm ups, and then we'll get back to you shortly. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, I will say. Oh wait, what? Surprise! Some more wow. Okay, the actual yeah. MVP. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Holy's mother has made it to the court. An hour she job. made me breakfast oh, today oh, as well. Oh, I'm oh, her biggest fan. Wow. This is on. Wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Why'd you slap oh, him? Oh, okay. oh, Thanks, him, Mom. I'm gonna put you in the Thanks, him, Mom. <laughs> hey. We're all gonna throw up. Let's go. Let's go. I'm eating that. Let's go. Mm. I love kale. Good. I'm sorry, it's my favorite fruit. Well, keep on eating. Let's yeah, see what you, you like can do. Put it. a hurting on it, boy. Thank you so much. Ah, yes. Chance Everybody loading up that vomit now. Eat. Let's go. Gotta Come get on, some gas out. in the tank. <laughs> this That's is right. a disaster oh, waiting to happen. Just eat as offering, many you know. cookies as you can before the 48-minute basketball game. 
Thank you, Sam. These are so okay. good. These are peanut butter cookies. Thank you so fresh. much. Keep going. Oh, I guess I'll Let's try go. one. I'll try Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're oh. so good. Oh, good, Red good, team, good. you guys should have some cookies. Oh, we did. Warm, guys. Good. Have All right, who am I rooting Amazing. for? Thank who am I rooting for? The blue team? Oh, we have heart. Team, give your food back. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold up. These fruits Thank are you. great. Yeah. Fruits are underrated. Sit, mom. Tell the chat who you're rooting for. Who am I rooting for? The blue team. Woo! And the red team. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was really good. Okay, that's that's what we need for a full game of basketball. Okay. Okay, we're gonna stretch, weren't we? We forgot we were gonna stretch. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go stretch. Now we're gonna go stretch. So that was a very nice little surprise. Teams are gonna stretch. They're gonna warm up, and then we're gonna play full court. Dynamic stretching. Full court. We're gonna start with some. We'll be crazy. Where's Nick? Okay. Nick, where's Nick? Uh-oh. That's a best stretch. Second Thompson Ryan will lead the warm-ups and six in the restroom. Here we go. Here we go. All right, our athletes entering the limbering phase. A little warrior one slash lunge across the court here, and man, do they look limber. There is one man who you have to be scared of on this court, and it's Cypher PK, the man who rejected cookies. And now we're looking over at the blue team, just after just. This team makes me more confused than I saw you this morning. One, That's two, right, a three, lot of confusion four, going on on the court. Five, By the six, way, my friend, you seven, are very eight, dank right now. Nine, ten, switch! Can you give yourself a foot chunk? Oh, Sia already two, getting into that three, mental space. Four, five, getting six, them in a, seven, eight, a violent five, mind frame, ten, as I said, switch! the Hannibal Lecter of basketball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, 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 much better. nine, ten, switch! Oh, wait, we got to be not I was screaming. I think that was. Yeah, that'll do it. I lived in the closet in a really long time, and it's really exciting to talk to another human being. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a tremendous day. I wish I was there in that closet with you. Would you consider us friends? I would. You go. Fast friends. Let me show you Thank you, man. So you go like this? NMP, getting nice and limber here. Look at oh, that peak physical fitness. The karaoke step to loosen up those hips, and it looks good. You know, I think that he maybe learned some of those Fortnite dances from Cypher PK. That's right. I would agree. Absolute team synergy. Oh, we know yeah, that S-Fan's going to take this nice and seriously. I didn't even realize that he was going to be on the red team until now we see them stretching. You brought him up as one of the X-Factors. We're going to be keeping our eyes on S-Fan. Now, this has turned into an absolute screaming match. NMP starting to move closer and closer to Soda Pop and potentially hoping to catch a host by the end of this one. Oh, yeah. The team's not missing an opportunity to psych one another out. Palum actually trying to assimilate there to the blue team, maybe get some information out of him before the game starts. I think it's just typical Twitch movement. You, you tend to move towards whoever the loudest is because they're the easiest to leech off of. Blue team screaming is attracting the red team like moths to a bright candle. That is right. You know who's awfully quiet today? Just the Minx. Usually she's screaming so much by now. Uh, the, the question is, how much play time is she going to get on the court? I'm assuming that she's going to see even less action than she does in real life. That's right, Rich. Uh, we don't assume that she's going to see the court much today. But when she does, I predict she's going to be playing an enforcer role, really doling out egregious fouls as fast as she can. Maybe this woman fighting. has bit every single human being she has ever met. She yeah. is like an animal that Maya would rescue on the street. She's a terrifying creature, just a minx. The question is, will she go for those plays here today? Because one thing that I have noticed that is different from every other OTK game day, we do not have a referee. We have nobody to keep this one together. Oh, tremendous. So, oh, we do. Apparently, the booth is telling me we do have a ref. Uh, he's, there they he's are. And back behind, behind the, uh, yeah. the whatever the heck that thing is. Hopefully, trying to get some protection here. Maybe he's yes. noticed what he is up against. 
yeah, the ref obviously trying to distance himself as much from the strange individuals that he sees on the court like as the possible. We need a, we need a no, I, I, I'm trying to do the same thing uh, after this one. I think I'm going to get on a plane and, and meet you in L.A. I love it. Come on out. We'll go out to a party. Uh, so how long do you predict you're going to be in the closet there, Rich? I ended it. Today's the last day. I, I'm only in for another 20 hours or something. What do you think your first action out of the closet is going to be? Uh, one time soda pop and did it while looking at a door. And now we have the teams lining up to take a couple of shots, making sure that they're all nice and ready to go. Uh, yeah, man. Have you ever looked at wood grain for a long period of time? I can't say that I have, but I could see how that could potentially be very erotic. Yeah, me, 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 me neither. Do you respect wood? I do indeed. Speaking of oh. wood, wood, look at these two. I'm get I'm getting wood watching that foot movement. Oh, there's Rob, my X Factor today, and look at that goes hard into contact, gets his own rebound, and finishes strong. From VR chat to the real court, we have the blue team representing already as we see them warming up. It looks like Cipher PK is going to need to be the hard carry of this red squad. What can Minx do? Absolutely nothing. No surprise there. Yeah, I, I just watched Space Boys lay up, and oh man, that was atrocious. Yeah, I really didn't expect much from Space Boy, but this is impressively bad. NMP, I watched him play horse one time. He was not bad at all. Uh, never mind, making me eat my words just about as quickly as I can spit them out. Space Boy again, looking for a little bit of redemption here. He, he's awful oh. like a five-year-old child. Yeah, he's got that Bambi Euro step. Oh, Cypher PK goes up and misses the dunk. Uh-oh. I mean, regardless uh, uh, of whether or not he can manage to convert these points, he is going to be an absolute force on the court, and I feel like he's going to be proving to every single player that they cannot build their way out of a scenario against him. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for yes. the national anthem. As Rise and takes remove your hat coverings for the national anthem. This one's probably familiar to you, right? Uh, yeah, the the Russian Soviet anthem. Probably jam out to this all the time. You know, I've heard it before, uh, and every time Hassan boots his PC, it plays. But it is a long one. I'll tell you, the actual so Soviet national anthem clocks in at about five minutes. So we'll see if uh, Finn has the the endurance to make it through this grueling anthem. Time for Finn to get back in position. The teams are picked. The scene is set. Any last minute predictions before we get in there, Rick? You know, after watching them warm up, I realized that any confidence that I had in either of these teams was a lapse of judgment, a complete mental breakdown. Both of these teams are absolutely terrible, and because of that, anything can happen. You can already see some of the folks on the court 
being gassed, needing to move on over to the bench. People aren't even able to make it through the warm-ups, Will. Yeah, yeah, well, Rob was sweating before they even started the warm-ups. I'm not sure how that happened. Somehow, walking from the car to the court, uh, he broke out in a head-to-toe sweat. Uh, these are not athletes in their prime. These are tenacious competitors, however. So I'm looking for them to pull out some tricks, maybe get a little dirty out there on the court. I'm hoping they get a little bit dirty as well. I'm just hoping that nobody gets hurt because our lawyer is actually playing in the game. That makes it kind of scary, BJ. Yeah, that's, that's what's called a conflict of interest. Let's hope nothing happens because otherwise, OTK is gonna have to pay a lot in damages. We already do have to, and now we have our two tall men taking the middle of the court to tip off. Did I get that right, Will? Do I know things yes. about basketball now? There you go, this is a tip off. Now, it looks as though Rob has the, the height advantage, but I am predicting that he has almost no bounce, no hops, no ups whatsoever. I'm predicting Cypher wins this tip. Okay, he has been rotated out for Maya. Interesting strategy here. Maya still might win this. The confidence coming out from the red team. We have Maya taking the center of the court. Rob showing absolutely no fear at all. Maya going to go off. Rob is going to be able to get the push up, but S fans going to be able to grab it. He throws the rock on over to Cypher PK, the main man on the court, Will. There we go. Shakes outside. Okay, a dish to Esfan, working it around the perimeter. Great ball movement from the red team. Now that looks like a mismatch. Rob Amaya, oh, he almost steals it with the clamps. But Maya gets it back, takes the shot, swatted. Oh my God. All the way from VR chat, Rob sends that ball away like someone getting banned in Ms. Kiff's chat. 16,000 poor lost souls. And now we have Maya who's going to bring this ball back to life. None of her players making any space at all. Cypher PK pointing. I have no idea what those points mean, but Maya, she finds the space. She's gonna be on the outside. She takes the shot. She doesn't make it, but Cypher is there for the rebound. He pushes everybody out of his way, but Rob going to be a wall. A miss, a scramble now, loose ball. Oh, doesn't go for the open shot. Three pointer, it's no good. Gets his own rebound. Oh. Tremendous impact on the shoulder. Blocked by Cypher PK. We're Rob only two minutes in. With himself, something that I thought we were gonna have to say about Soda Puppet, but it gets converted by Rob. There's our first basket from Rob. Wow, a lot of hustle coming from the blue team. Red team already looks exhausted. s -Fan slowly brings it up the court. s -Fan. Looking for somebody to throw it to. It's going to be Cypher PK looking around the court, looking for an opening, and Maya continuing to find space yet again. It goes on over to Maya. She's at the oh, first injury. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Somebody call tips. Did somebody call tips? Absolutely bodied. Oh, God. Oh, and Ms. Kiff doesn't like that call. Is she okay? Did Miz blame that on her? Yeah, Miz obviously trying to gaslight Maya right now, telling her she tripped. All right, yes, man, top of the key, being covered by Seer. Seer, some tenacious, almost sexual defense there. She fell on me. My looking like she almost got hurt by the ball there. A sturdy pass coming straight to her. Oh my God. She's on a warpath. Total air ball from s -Fan. Good rebound. This is so disgusting. Three minutes in, there's no way they survive this. Okay. Not at all. We still do have about 10 minutes left here. This ball going to be moving out of bounds. A few moments yeah. for these players to catch their breath and think about how they are going to injure each other in the next play. Christopher E going to be the man to look at. He tosses that rock over to Miskiff. Miskiff has a beautiful oh, shot. But what oh is that? my God, he Shaquille O'Neal's it over the backboard. Way too much sausage on that three-pointer. 
What is he going for there? I have no idea. He smashes the top of the glass harder than he smashes the upvote button every time he sees a clip of himself on LSF. It's going to be Cypher PK being absolutely oh, dominant, no, driving Cypher. that ball to pound but he can't score an actual point. Christopher Dish to Miss Kemp. Dish to Rob. Rob inside. Gets it to go. Rob, the difference maker today thus far. My prediction kind of coming to fruition. A triple team on Cypher has shut him down this far. Cypher PK is just a cosmetic Chad. He has absolutely no OBJ conversion at all. S fan. Tough D on S fan here. The double team. Up! A loose ball. That's going to go the Blues way. So far, all blue team shocking to this commentator and the audience. And we thought that the blue team would be absolutely terrible, and they are, but the red team is somehow worse. Maya going to get control. She throws it over to the best looking basketball player who can't actually play ball at all. No points right. to have on his name. It's going to be Maya who once again gets all of the control of the court standing here. What, what would you call this part of the court? Uh, top of the key. Top of the key. Oh, geez, man, uh, never mind. Uh, Seer moving to the top of the key. Usually he gets rid of the key, but this time around, he's not trying to sell it. He's trying to own it. Cypher PK looking for an opening. Oh, oh Rob with the beautiful steal. Miz kept moving it up the court. Oh, he's got a man in the basket. Mike gets a hand on it, Christopher. Oh, blocked by the rim. Air balls it. Holy smokes, E-Rob manages to put down a layup there after three missed layups. You made a crazy prediction early on. You said that Rob may be the one to watch. We were a little bit nervous because he was already profusely perspirating before we even made it to warm-ups, but this man has been a force on the court he's been able to start so many different plays he doesn't even need to rely on the other players to get anything done and erob can just sneak in when the ball is getting jostled around like That's it right. is i can't say that one but when the ball is getting jostled around erob is there to just over and over again be persistent and try to get it inside of the net that's right. Offense, defense, he's been all over. Cypher PK gets free. Cypher PK up. Misses it again. No good in contact there. Scramble for the ball. Russell and PK, it's going to be a jump ball now. And there is less control on this ball than before Clint Stevens learned about jump strikes. The referee is going to have to move this outside. BJP, the one to make it live again. Yeah, possession arrow with the red team here. Oh, uh, there's an inbound. A shot. Oh, and Rob with the no Oh, a steal. Cypher PK coming in, swooping in, grabbing the loose ball and putting two on the uh, on the board. First points for the red team there. We expected a lot from this man, and we will continue to keep those high standards. Rob. A man who has proved so much going to blow the oh, Russell gives it away. Cypher PK on a break. Misses another layup, but Nick is there to clean up the glass. Nick actually looks like he's playing basketball today. Yeah, four quick points for the red team. A little life. Three pointer. Oh, air ball again. So from the three point land, we haven't even hit a rim yet. But people keep going for the three-pointers. They keep jacking them up. Hope springs eternal. Great pass. Almost a perfect give and go there. Moving it all the way around town. NMP still making more space. It's going to be Chance who says, nope, you cannot try to be the landlord of this court. That is going to be my role. And now it's e -Rock. It's air ball three. E Bob with the drive going up against Cypher PK. A little trickery there. Dishes to Rob. Rob loses it. The clamps. The number one lawyer is in space. He dishes. Oh, that's a travel. No call from the ref there. A double dribble as well. 
I guess we're not baby. calling that. All knotted up. This referee gives zero fucks. I think yeah. he has realized exactly what is going on here. It is yeah. a bunch of idiots running around with no idea what they are doing. Christopher Yee, this man has taken about eight three-point shots. It is his default move. This time he's not going to do it. Rob, with a nice little pump fake, going to be able to dish it over to it. Three ball! Unbelievable! A rare W there! This is turning into a game here, Will. Space Boy marching down. It's going to be NMP who he finds. Over to Britt. Britt? Driving her way into the paint, not dribbling, doesn't need it. Oh, a perfect dish to Cypher. Oh my God, not just legal advice, but dishes as well. He's looking out for everybody on his team. I wonder if he's going to be taking a percentage of all of these points. Eight to nine he's with dimes. only four minutes remaining. That's and it right. seems okay. like everybody's kind of warming up now that they're getting a little bit of play time out here. The one yeah. person who is not looking good, though, is still Miss Gift. Can he prove us wrong here? He's been trying to do it all by himself. Hubris always being right. Miss Kiff's weakness. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing here. I don't know what he's looking for, but he's he's dribbling a lot. He's waiting for his chat to tell him what to do. As usual, he's calling soda popping. So to pop, pop it, a zebra. wild pass. Another three ball. Oh, rough. Cypher PK, the shimmy, he's in space. Oh, and misses another layup. Unexpected. Britt with, with the grab off the glass. Cypher loses it. Britt again, another rebound. She's a machine. Oh, Soda almost with the steal, but it goes off his face. He's sweating, he's embarrassed, a little bit concussed. Dish to the neck. Bang! From deep. I believe that this is the first time that Red has been able to come out in front. That was our high tech replay. Um, I didn't That's even right, notice that. that we were watching a replay for a moment there. I looked away for just a second. Uh, and now we will see that the red team has a lead for the first time. BJP! BJP's got clamps! Oh, and another air ball three. Oh! Soda making it look easy. His feet don't even leave the ground. Soda, the equalizer. Now back on over to Cypher PK. Can he get red team back out in front? This has been one of the more disappointing players in the early game, but quickly coming alive. Gets oh. past oh. the oh. Russell! Russell! A flagrant foul! Oh, I love it. That's basketball, folks. Just oh goodness. Absolutely. To stay yeah. when you live with Ms. Kiffin. You can see that coming out in Russell here today. This man has nice. had to grow claws as he bars Cypher PK and the ref going to say that one is too egregious for me to let it flow. We are going yep. to have our first, what are these called? Free, free throws? That's, that's the term right there, Rich. And, you know, he's been letting double dribbles go. He's been letting travels go. He's been letting up and downs go. He's been letting moving picks go. But he said, tearing Cypher PTK to the ground, I can't let that go. So these are our first free throws of the day. Bricks the first one. He, he is tall. He is in shape. But he is not what I would consider a basketball player. No, certainly not. Let's see how he does on the second one here. Breaks the second one. Oh, that's tough to see. I, I think that uh, if we were playing basketball by the high school musical rule, Cypher PK would be the MVP. But today, we are playing. Oh, Christopher Yee! Wow. able to kiss that glass, and he's going to be able to put two up on the board. That's right, he rebounds yet another air ball from Miz. Mizkiff has shot four today and hasn't even touched the backboard or rim. BJP, an absolute monster so far. Cypher PK poked Mizkiff in the eye. 
Oh, an eye gouge here. Tough. Oh, Peyton Manning! dies so quickly. No, oh, soda pop and play from blue! Soda pop and rebound. And he misses two wide open layups. Oh, but the loose ball! No call from the ref again. He's really letting them play today, Rich. He really is. He said, let them play ball as Higa throws it on over to NMP. NMP quickly sniffs the ball before he throws it on over to Cypher PK, who finally gets something done. 13 to 13. Strong move from Cypher PK. I got missed. I got missed. I got missed. Oh boy, Rich, do you see who just subbed in? Oh, it's Rob. Rob's back in the game. The Golden Gator with his golden stroke doesn't move fast, but when he does, man, it means business. He doesn't need to move fast, but he also doesn't need to move for anybody as we That's take right. a look at Rob. It's going to be NMP with another three. Not terrible. Christopher Yee going to be able to regain control. He's going to move it on down to his side of the court. Taking another three. He's done we it time and time again for no reason just at all. jacking up threes on both sides of the court. Nowhere even near the bucket. S-Man drives. Misses his layup. A lot of missed layups today. Another three. Chris. Oh, he's, he's fast to Rob. Rob in the paint dishes another three. Oh, another brick. This is like watching people play Lego basketball, where you can only take, I, I, maybe I'm the only person who played Lego basketball, but in that game, you can really only take threes. It's kind of the meta. And these guys are looking just as stiff as Lego pieces as we see that toss going over to Rebound. Perry Pickens, from it. and he misses another wide open layup. He's oh. just as broke up as he is. E Rob not going to be able with that beautiful opening to get the lead for the blue team. That's going to be an L, but we are all tied up in quarter number one. If you're just tuning in, we are going to be playing four 12 minute quarters with a pretty decent break in between so everybody can get fueled up with a nice refreshing cup of water or Game Fuel, the official sponsor of OTK and OTK Game Day. Rob, the MVP for me so far though, Will. Absolutely, undeniably, uh, coming up big. We have a barn burner. We're going to throw to Melena here from News from the Court. We're back here on the court with the two captains of both teams, Team Red and Team Blue. How are you guys feeling? Miss it first? I feel good. Uh, I feel ready to go for the next quarter. I think uh, Russell didn't know football's next week, which is fine, but I, uh, I feel pretty confident. I'm happy with my team, and I'm glad to be here. You think you're going to be able to keep it up? I think so. We feel pretty good this quarter. I feel fine. I think we can do four of these. Easily. And how about you, Nicholas? How do you feel? Uh, I haven't started trying yet, so uh, as soon as the game gets a little, out, a little out of hand for them, I'll start trying again. So your strategy is you're saving your energy for when they Every are Every time. Tired. You should know this. I'm, I'm la I last... That is absolutely true. You should watch out for that. Yeah, so um, it's going to be good. And I hope Cypher's okay because he smacked his head hard. Cypher. Holy shit. That was crazy. But it's good. We started, uh, we started our, our best players, and it's a tie game. Let's ask Cypher. Cypher? You want to come here? Why can't we just play video games you like everyone his, else? You hit his head. You hit his head. Yeah, right? let's just, yeah, let's just get to me. I hit his head. How's I'm your, the captain. How is your head feeling? I have a severe concussion. I think my lower back is broken. Uh, Miskiff, it was your fault? I think Miskiff said he was going to pay the bills, so... He can good. definitely afford that. Yeah. I mean, he did get a new car recently, so I yes. think he can afford it. Do you think your team's going to win? Oh, we are, definitely. Are yeah. you impressed by their performance? Yeah, they're doing pretty well. They're moving the ball, and everyone's uh, doing the role pretty... I think he... I think he passed out. So you you would say Miskiff is arguably their weak spot? Oh, for sure. I mean, he's like uh, substituting in the middle of the match. I mean, that's usually a technical foul, but I think he paid the refs. Um, I would say it's pretty rigged, but... No, dude, that's not fair. All right, did anyone see when Cato walked? She was tired. With the ball, and the ref didn't say anything? You no, want to take it up with the ref? You, yeah, I kind of do. I want to take it up with the ref. Okay, we're gonna get back to uh, Rich and Will, and we're gonna start it back up for what is it called? Round? I can stay Round two. Quarter. Here, now that next time. Two. Now next time here. My, our plan Quarter. is hold defense. We're just gonna hold defense. I think we can win. Believe in us. I think we got this. All right, we are back with 
with game two, round two, quarter two, whatever you call it. We got more hot OTK, OTK game day brought to you by Game Fuel Action coming your way. Isn't that right, Rich? TK, we spank the competition, but as we a look at what Cypher PK is doing here. We should honestly call them Cypher 4K because I've only seen this strategy one time before. You feign a broken arm, you feign an injury, and then you guarantee yourself at least one miskiff host and potentially a bunch of fake medical bills. That is a brilliant play. He's taking it from a, a man who I respect so much, but I can't remember his name, literally. Yep. It is a genius play. Fake the injury, break the arm, get the views. We're lined up. We're going into quarter number two. Rich, are there any storylines that you're interested in following here in the second quarter of the game? I am really looking forward to see what young Jeff can do now that he is on the court. This man controls the fate of every single person in OTK. Nothing but shit posts from this man for the organization until now, and he's looking to get a tweet of his very own. As he tosses the ball back backwards, I did not even know that that was something that was legal. Throws it over to his boss in Ms. Kiffin. It's going to be the MVP, Rob, surrounded by everybody on the red team, but he is able to persevere. He is able to find an opening. E-Rob right to the middle. Rob finds space, but he cannot convert the point. Cypher PK proving that he does not have an injury, just like Senny 4K. Now it's going to be S-Fan, who is going to slow down the tempo. Yeah, S-Fan, obviously not big on fast breaks. He has slowed down the game many times. Oh my God, Jeff with the clamps. He says, give me those cookies, S-Fan. Cookies have been gotten. Rob now looking for Rob the his own. It's good. Rob continuing to dominate. And you got to talk about that play that allowed that conversion of control to happen. Nick, all charged up and angry, going to toss the ball over to Britt. Nothing going to happen from that. Uh, beautiful play, though, all in all from the blue team. That's going yep. to get them the lead to start off this 12-minute quarter. Ball stays with the red team. Inbound from Cypher to Nick. Nick spots up. Oh, just a bit. Oh, and we lose the ball there. This is going to be a blue ball heading the other way. I am shocked by Jeff's hands. He's got fast mitts. He has almost had two successful steals in, a, in about 20 seconds. I knew that he had quick hands. I knew that he had quick fingers. I pay attention to the OTK Twitter account. Yeah, he's got those those Twitter fingers now translating into steals. Sear on the court for the first time. Moving fast, almost a steal there. Dylan Bounds somehow. Cypher PK to MP, looking for Maya. MP always is. She tries to go up. She's trying to look wow. to see who costed her. A beautiful play from young Jeff E Rob. Wait, E Rob cherry picking. 13. Did you almost see Rob go for one of the most savage block attempts I've ever seen on Maya? No Rob love lost there. Rob yeah, he's here to win. He's playing for keeps. All right, Miz up the court very slow. Oh, to Seer, Seer open, dishes to Rob, Rob drives, and another bucket for plus Raffle one for Gator. Plus one for RP and an absolute bloodbath as we see plus two for the board. It's going to be NMP once again, the only person on this team who anything. Ricks it. Oh man, he was going for some Dame Lillard downtown action there and came up a bit short. A dish! The blue team has one strategy. Eating yeah. long. This is the most disgusting strategy I've seen. Yeah. It's a 50% conversion rate, but all he has to do is stand there and shoot the ball. Nobody's doing anything about it. Is this yeah. even legal, Will? Yeah, and technically it is, but sportsmanship at an all-time low. Miz slowly up the court here. Here again. Nick with a steal. Nick drives. The ball is loose. Ball going red way there. He spins around for a moment there like Sea Shanty just came on and he's going to be able to get around the player, but it's going to be two bodies that managed to jostle that ball loose. And once again, he tosses that rock over to Maya. Maya is not bad at all. Just needs to calibrate a little bit more to get the bird on home. Going to be Rob looking for Soda Poppin'. Soda Poppin' takes a step back, takes the shot. Oh, Soda Poppin'! 
up and pops the jumper, and he's two for two today. Who would have thunk it? He looks away, doesn't even need to wait to see the ball go through the net. Now, Higa, look it over to BJP, 21 to 13. Now, we have three, two bodies trying to block off that space on the key. Eifer on the drive, goes up, easy bucket there, and he stems the bleeding. Red team needed those points badly. That is the tourniquet that they needed, but how long can they stem that bleeding for, and can they turn it around? Oh, Makes it for Miles! Oh my god, a savage foul there! A savage foul from Mizkiff. Horrible sportsmanship. Drives his body into my issue. Unbelievable. Let's go. Nobody on him at all. Maya is still mad at, or Miz still mad at Maya for the last play. He's not even paying attention to the ball this time around. Now the blue team looking to do a different style of play. They don't have E-Rob cherry picking. They're actually gonna need to play the game. Christopher E to E-Rob. Gonna be Soda Poppin who rotates on outside. Miz Kiff waiting at half court. They start yeah, to make just a little bit of leeway for him. Yeah, and you can see Rob on the sideline trying to get some oxygen, desperately sucking air, fully laid out on the bench. That's not a good sign for blue team. They need him spry to carry this game into the later quarters. I, I have to say, though, it looks like Miz is not holding back on anyone. He's either trying to win this game or get an invite to the Scuff podcast. NMP with the challenge, going to take a step back. He realizes that Blue is concentrated on one part of the court, and Christopher oh, Ying is shot. Hyper PK with the swat! I haven't seen Christopher E that upset since he had an uneven thermal paste application with that deny from Cypher PK. Maya back outside to Cypher PK as he starts to bring the ball. Are you kidding me? What ball movement there from the red team. The red team on a run now. Blue team struggling to find answers to their adjustment in strategy. You know what's funny? I think passing is actually good in this game. Yeah, you know, some people think that it's uh, one of the fundamentals, but obviously we haven't seen much of it today, especially with Mizkiff. He really wants to hang on to that ball. It oh. seems pretty on par for Mizkiff. Get a look at the back of Chance's head for just a second here. Oh, no, he is loose ball. Oh, Cypher PK, he's free. And a slam, a jammer. And maybe Cypher PK did have a concussion, but it looks like he is shaking it off yeah. now. A completely clear head. That's he right, with no regard up. for human life, he brings down the tomahawk. And that's our first slam dunk of the day. Getting revenge on Mizkiff. After Mizkiff was able to hit Cypher PK pretty hard in the first quarter. Now it's going to be Cypher PK taking it out on the scoreboard. E-Rob, though, with Fury, going to be able to sink a beautiful bucket. Yeah, this guy has been a bucket today, let me tell you. All right, S fans is Cypher. Cypher heating up dishes. Top of the key. Oh. Oh, oh, some fancy footwork there, but a loose ball. E-Rob on the break, a perfect dish. Christopher bricks it. You know, it, it's pretty cool to see that Britt doesn't believe in the rules just like she doesn't believe in the moon landing, and that's gonna make her an X factor. Truly yep. wild plays coming out of her. You know, it's not the second best player that you have to worry about. Somebody who has no idea what is going on. She is an erratic force, and speaking of erratic, it is Mizkiff. There it's he is. Finally going to get a clean play. First bucket of the day. Actually, the first time he's even touched the rim with one of his shots. That's got to feel good. It definitely needs to feel good for him, especially considering it's going to be a blue lead yet again. Can okay. they start to pull away? Space Boy. Double dribbling it. Also, probably getting a backcourt violation there at some point, but X-Fan drives, misses it, gets his own rebound, loose ball, slams into the wall, comes up with nothing, and he looks dejected and ashamed. This this ref 
reminds me of the person that comes into a chat. He's been like, hey, I've been here for 40 seconds. Please give me mod. Gets the sword, takes a screenshot, tweets it out, and then never bans a single soul. I have a friend who actually, he bans even his subscribers. He doesn't even need any mods. And I wish he was here today because this ref does not give a fuck. Yeah, I have a friend like that too. His name is Hassan Piker. He bans people who agrees with him from time to time. Real loose cannon, just like Ms. Kiff's jump shot there. Boy, boy, he, he loves the power. I wish he was here ref in the game today, especially with the national anthem that was played. This seems like his environment. I would guess he would be quite partial to the red team, though. Maybe it wouldn't be fair, as we do take a look at Cypher PK yet again, not just because he's hit, but because he is out for revenge. Ms. Kiff oh. going to look for E-Rob yet again. Oh, the cherry pick strat dishes to Russell. Russell, what in God's green earth was that? Loads up a jump shot and kind of just throws it into the air. Did we get a replay of that jump shot? <laughs> a, a little bit of advice to Russell, man. If you don't start performing a little bit better, this kid will kick you out of the house. I've already gotten my eviction notice, but it's S-Fan who's trying to evict that ball into the net. Nothing going to happen there. Christopher Yee on his favorite side of the court. Is he going to go for the three? No, he's going to What a dish! E-Rob coming up just a bit short, but, you know, close shot there. Red driving up the court, a fast break. Rare from three! No good. It's going to be Rob who's going to be there to oh, what a ball. control. Ye ball movement, Russell, redemption, and he gets it. Completely redeems himself after maybe the worst jump shot I've ever seen. And that is quite an accolade to have on a day like today, Will. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Rare air. Rare air to have the worst shot on a day like today. Base boy, moving it on over to Cypher PK. We got some fresh bodies out on the court as well for the red team. Cypher going to throw that one nice and high up in the air, but NMP is there to pick up the scraps like it's the end of a soda popping stream. And That's he right. tries to convert. He's like a mantis. You should see him feast, and let's see if he can hit that wet Pogo Palum action from the free throw line now. Getting absolute carried by the free throws. Will he be able to make anything out of it? I will That's say that right. the stream has already been live for an hour and 34 minutes, so he's probably running low on steam. Right, he's imagining that that hoop is a beautiful pair of feet right now, and he drills it! <laughs> NMP gazing fondly over at the net. And this time he is going to miss the shot. A one point is going to do something. He tries to get control of the ball again. Yi over to E-Rob. E-Rob buckets. Buckets. E-Rob has really been an X factor today. I got to tell you, I did not expect him to be so wet from that left uh, shooting block. Wet? Yeah, wet. Wait, what does that mean? Uh, it means that like you're, you're consistent. Or you're getting a lot of buckets. Rob looking quite wet as he throws it over to Miskif. Okay, it's kind of weird when you say it. <laughs> Witness! Thank you for teaching me about basketball, Will. Well, I'll teach you. Over to the oh. top of the key. Getting nice and wet. Getting nice and limber. He's got clamps. It's going to be Rob now. Looking for a sure thing, and that's going to be E money for three. Oh. And going to regain control of the rock, as the kids say. That's right, just a bit outside for E Rob there. Nice slow approach here. Space Boy decides he's going to pull it. Total air ball. Not what he was looking for. Too bad. Too bad indeed. You know who we haven't seen much from? It's Seer. And with his track record, I really expected him to be slinging this rock. That is that is right. He's known to sling the rock, and he's known to do and sell a lot of cocaine. Uh, 
Uh, we also haven't seen uh, Minx at all on the court, really. Thank God. Uh, we can be thankful for something today. Uh, Minx having very limited camera time. Young Jeff from downtown. Not going to be able to get it. Yee tries to tap it back. Volleyball was last week, brother. It's going to be BJP, and he is looking for a body. It's going to be Cypher PK, and he tosses it up. And oh, man. Easy. He is Another dime, BJP. This guy, that ball had eyes. He's just been dishing it all over the place. Jeff, the no-look pass. Swagger on 100 out of Jeff. That was a beautiful play indeed. He just wants his own clip today. E-Rob looking for the three. He has bodies to work with, but he's going to take it, and it gets stuffed. Bad. Oh, 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 Maya! There it is! Maya! Beats the block from Rob and the buzzer to make the score 26 29, a one possession game. And Rich, I, I gotta tell you, I did not expect this level of basketball. This is by far the best game that we have witnessed at an OTK game day. Halfway through, I was scrambling. I was begging that we could play bowling, anything that involved them not moving around too much. What is Minx even? The Minx is completely okay? given up. Uh, I, I think that that's the beautiful Ryan thing about this game, though, right now. Yeah, Not the dejection coach. of Minx, but the Ryan fact that the a, players so who are staying on the court, they play, want to be there. They want to be yeah, playing, yeah, and they are yeah, stepping yeah, up to the highest <laughs> level that we have seen so far. I'm looking at players like E-Rob. I'm looking at players like Raffle Gator, and I'm even looking at players like Young Jeff. Let's hear from the players right now to hear their yeah, take yeah. on the situation. Yeah. We have Milena on the court. Hi, welcome back to the core. We are here with our ref Van. Van, how are you feeling about uh, these games? This is the best that we get. <laughs> it's, it's the best that we get? Yeah, it's the best. It's is, the best. Is it entertaining at least? Oh, more past entertaining. Do, do you think anyone in particular is uh, a, a good standout player? Can you can you point <coughs> someone out? <coughs> well, Maybe him? Well, you know, I'll leave that to the coaches. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's good that he's not biased at least. But they're, they're playing foul. They are. Well, but you know, that's how you play these type games. Also, you'll let it happen. I think, just, I think know, that's good, just too. Not overdo it. Yeah, it makes it more entertaining. Keep it in fair play. Yes. So what do, what do you think about it? Is it hard to referee with the blue team cheating all the time? Does that make it tough? <laughs> well, I think if you look on both sides of the court, you're finding balance. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. We appreciate you. Yeah, we yes. appreciate you. Thank it's you very much. Fun. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, yes. thank you so much for, yes. for just being around. guys think right. they lost their high school mojo, they got it back today. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, they're having fun at least. Oh, we'll get back to uh, Rich and Will to see how they feel about that. Bye. Wow, the ref, the ref. is out for blood. He wants to see the dirty plays. You love to yeah. see it. It's like a Quinn 69 mod, the problem. Yeah, the, uh, it just seems like he's really going to let them play. There have been some pretty egregious fouls today, but, you know, all the better for us here in the booth and you at home. You know, we love that blood sport. We love that action. And I think we'll see some more egregious, dangerous fouls before the day is over. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I am totally here for it. And I've been impressed overall. 26 to 29, a very close game. One of the first close games that we have had. You're ready to go at OTK game day, and I'm already starting to think about next week because if this is any indicator of things to come, football is going to be fantastic to watch. Oh, yeah. You know, it's interesting. Early on in the day, a lot of memeing coming out of this young, uh, these young athletes, a lot of pageantry. Going into the third quarter, they are exhausted. They are tired, struggling to just stay alive, gripping to the world with, you know, white knuckle intensity, and they are tired. But they look focused, and I think this second half is going to be even better than the first. I do agree with that. I'm going to cherry pick the whole time. Everybody getting gassed up for the next one. And now I think we can hear the players talking a little bit of smack. I'm just faster than everyone that's down here. You want to do a sprint after this race? Let's put Brent on it versus Melina. I'll take them both. All right, what's on? I haven't came off the whole time, though. You've been resting a lot, so I'm a lot more fatigued. Oh, wow, you're, you're staying the whole time and not letting everyone play, huh? Hey, don't I'm tired. See, don't listen to the other team, come on. Don't listen. We got this. We'll get it going. I'm ready. Eric, you'll have to rest soon, man. We got two more quarters. I'm telling you, we, I think we actually have this. I think we're doing well. Instead of doing, like, the half-court shots, just hold the ball. 
and let Rob rest. Yeah, exactly. We, we just stall. Yeah, guys, you guys are doing really good. Keep it up. We chill. You know what they used to call Nick in high school? I will, I will let Nick left bench Pollen. That's why he talks about hockey all the time. What? Oh, game. <laughs> wow, these young men have rhythm. That much is true. Miss Kiff looks like my mother used to look when she would clean the house. I have no idea what he is doing at all, but he gives a pretty motivational speech to his team. He tells them that he thinks that they might be able to take this one. The question is, will they be able to bring that same tenacity that they brought in the first half? You already mentioned the fact that some of the players are looking gassed, but when we look over at the red team, they do not look tired at all. Well, Minx does, but that's part of the no the there. I can be true and never know how much I love you. You're I don't know cry. the rest of the words to <laughs> this song, so I'm a power. End it, end it. Oh, oh attempted cut, cut. manslaughter yeah. here out of my That was a great halftime show, beautiful halftime show. We, we love it. We love to see it. We love to see it. Uh, are we ready to get started again, team? Yeah. 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 We're ready to get back to it. Nick, are you ready? I'm about, get, I'm about to get real sweaty this half. Right. Real sweaty. I'm a bit tired, Milena. Hey. All right, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Crazy. Working hard enough. Okay. I said I'm what tired. What did you say? You're tired? I said I'm tired. But well, you've played so much. I know. I think, tired. um. Can we have a bit more on half time? I think my, uh, the kill. What number are we down to? Uh, Is that okay? Five. <laughs> we started like 27. Are we cool with that? All right, S-Man's on the ground, it's good. Oh, that man's dead, you did this. Maya, very happy of her achievement. She is the first person to ever be able to cut off S-Fan. Oh, no, no. What the fuck? No, that's and okay. all it took was just out-and-out out murder. <laughs> it was murder that made S-Fan stop talking. And now, as we take a look at the court, we're trying to assess which players are still able to function the way that they were in the first half. Uh, just a Minx, a, a surprise cameo there during the halftime show. Uh, more paint on her eyes than we see on the court. And I think that that really could be the X factor here. She could just be one with the playing environment. That's right, that war paint striking fear into the heart of her opponents. You know, I, I've seen their the, the matchups and they look intimidated. Warm-up shots coming out. Rob just trying to get nice and calibrated. But right now he's looking about as calibrated as an Xbox Connect. And we half time, spare time to burn as we are about to start our third quarter. Oh God. Rich, how about you give us one of your predictions for the second half maybe what's something that we're going to see that no one expects <clears throat> okay if i have to make a prediction right now yeah about halfway through the third quarter nmp is going to get injured by rob and melena is going to come to save the day so it's going to be cypher pk wasting no time but missing his pull-up jumper there Oh, up Cypher with the seal. Dish. Miss. Rob with the... Oh, Sear. What a ball. Back to Sear. Sear from the arc. It's a pass. Soda under the bucket. Dishes. Oh, and that's going to be a jump ball. The blue team looking very coordinated. What we've seen so far in both of our quarters of the first half, the team that passed better got more buckets together. Will that continue to be the trend in this third quarter as our players have seen oh. quite a bit of play time moving on over to the red side? That's right, Cypher on the break. His first day or first shot spotting up from three, no good. Oh, what a steal from Rob. Rob is looking real saucy in this second half already certainly is 
Ye! Not going to be able to find anything. S fan looking nice and calm. It's going to be oh. safe for PK. Grab the E watch straight to Palm, and Palm's going to be able to dish that one out. Nice, calm, and collected. And those points will be collected as well. A one possession game still. Just one point is going to sway the balance slightly in the favor of the blue team as they try to widen the gap just a little bit. They try to stretch it open, but Maya going to be able to slap that hope out of Christopher Yee's hand. Yee starts it back up to Yee, Rob. Back on over to Yee. It's going to be Rob who's found at the top of the key. Looking into the paint, will he be able to find any space? Yee, Rob, looks on over to Soda Poppin, and they switch possession of players faster than a Raffle Gator speed dating stream. Now NMP to it's going to be a point in the way of the red team. Nick and Cypher putting on a show early in this second half. Those two are just clicking like Golden State now. Christopher driving up the court now, slowing down the pace. We haven't seen a timeout out yet, which I'm surprised by. Ooh! Scramble for the ball, loose ball. Possession arrow with the red team. NMP over to Higa. She's oh. just not tall enough. Just a bit outside. Both teams look to be slowing down a little bit. Oh, B, stop. God damn it. These cats. Rob gets his own board, gets his own board again. A third offensive rebound, and he puts it away. A Herculean performance for the Golden Gators owner. Maya Hugo alone on the perimeter, jacks it up. Another board for Rob. Rob might end up with a triple-double today. He might indeed. Back on over to blue. One point. Tried to turn it into three, but it is not going to be good. Still in blue possession. The hope still alive for this play. It's going to be Yee all the way back court to Seer. That's got to be a back court violation. It has to, to be, it. right? Double dribble there. They're asking for the ball. Confusion on the court now. This ref does not give a fuck. <laughs> no, he is making no calls. Breakaway. What the hell is happening? <laughs> it did not count. It did All not right. count. We are just hearing. Cypher lays it <laughs> this up. Ref, I love this ref. <laughs> yeah. My man came with an open mind. He does not give a shit. Rob, another bucket. Raffle Gator, the man is possessed. Shades of Sean Kemp. Will, I'm sorry, I gotta get up for a second. I'm getting attacked by Chompy and Burrito at the same time. I'm getting these cats out of here and closing the door. No worries. Uh, cat attacks, a frequent problem for sports announcers everywhere. Everybody knows that. Soda popping with the ball now. Dishes. Russell on the perimeter, jacks it up. Off the glass, no good. I am back, and the ball is back on the red side of the Another court. three ball and another air ball. It's interesting, both teams not really playing the numbers, probably in, a, in the single digits for their shooting percentages from outside, but yet they still jack them up. Back him up indeed. Back on over to Yi. He tosses it quickly back to E Rob. Rob looking dominant as he just takes it straight down the middle. He almost manages to take the rebound himself as BJP looks for the opening to Pollum. These two have been playing so well together. The teamwork has oh, been yeah. fantastic. Oh, look at that. Gets his own rebound. Goes up again. Gets it to go. We're up one. We're up one. 34 33. We've had four lead changes already in the third quarter. What an exciting game of basketball. These Fortnite players, too, they really do tend to come alive towards the end of the game. It's what they're used to, and Cypher PK 
it is like the the, the the gas is closing in around them or whatever the, the heck you say in Fortnite. Now it's going to be E, Rob, a consistent factor throughout the entirety of the game. Over to Rob. Jack's up Nothing the there. Soda popping with the board. Soda popping. Three for three. Soda popping. Somehow shooting 100% from the floor. I did not see that coming. The kid is fucking automatic. That, that much is true, and I think the biggest thing we were expecting from him was the amount of vomit he was going to have today. Yeah. But he's looking like a well-oiled machine, to say the least. That's the rock right. Tossed vomit, over to come just Russell. Rocket. Russell saves it! Soda driving from three-point land. Is he going to jack it up? He goes for it. Oh, just short. There goes his shooting percentage. He knows he fucked up. Look at that smile. Nothing but air. Maybe he needs a slightly smaller net. Uh, maybe that would be more comfortable for him. I know sometimes it's really hard for him to find things that are the right size. He'll figure it out as we move forward throughout the day. S-Fan, 8.1% oh, accuracy. Cypher PK gets the bucket, and we have another lead change here in the third. Rob showing signs of fatigue. Look at that run. More of a waddle of a man that has diarrhea and is trying to make his way to the bathroom, but he is still looking intense, and the numbers prove it. And this, oh. this game is more back and forth than LSF's opinion of OTK. It is all over the place. Oh! It? Gets it to go! A kiss to the gods, and it looks like the Raph is choosing to get involved right now. What a strange time. But the bucket looks like it'll stand. Finally stepping up here. He is awake. Space Let's... Boy, a double dribble. A blatant double dribble doesn't get called there. What, what is, is the most even looking at? I don't know. Who is this guy riffing? I got him, boys. Cypher PK. Looking for an opening here, and the blue has lined up, making a wall, which leaves S-Fan open. He decides to take the three. Oh, and that is completely... PK. Oh, and a characteristic call from the ref there. He, he didn't like what he saw out of bounds. Mizkiff will start with the ball, won't inbound it, will just dribble it onto the court. That's not legal, who cares? We're playing OTK basketball, brought to you by Game Fuel. Blue team, big chilling. It's going to be Mizkiff, just stalling. That much is second nature to him. And Seer, <laughs> just not going to make anything happen. But my goodness, does he look good doing it. That's right, Seer flailing like he's got a pants full of bees. Up, oh, loose ball, Space Boy under the basket, dishes that man, loose ball, Seer turns on the Jets! Oh, and immediately gives it away. Watch me, JP! Oh my god, another steal. What is happening? Both this is devolved into chaos. Oh! Seer! Air balls the layup. You don't see that often. Man, is he trying hard. This has absolutely devolved into... This reminds me of the old Among Us screaming matches. Everybody is just trying to do their own thing, but Cypher makes it look beautiful here. A pick and roll, I believe it's called, as he gets wet in the bucket. Thank you for teaching me these terms, man. You are welcome. Not quite a pick and roll because there was no pick, but all the roll you could ask for there. Wet AF. Wet all over the place. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Go get him, go get him, go get him, Max, go get him, Max. Here you go. go. Slow ah! dribble. Mix drives. Oh, Minx may have activated her trap card. It looks like Minx is just looking for violence now. Oh, there's the violence. A vicious elbow. I've never seen Minx look this desperate since the Austin show. It's going to be over to Cypher PK. She might try to attack him, too. She'll go out for anything. She's on top of Ms. Kiff. Ms. is asking the ref for some sort of help, and the ref does not give a fuck. Yeah, the ref is just having a good time. He's happy to see some violence. He's yelling at Ms. Kiff for even implying that the referee needed to get involved there. 
uh-oh, I think he might get teed up here. Technical foul incoming. Nope, he's gonna, oh, foul shots for Cypher PK. I don't understand that one. I do not either, but it seems like it's not going to matter at all because Cypher PK is one of the worst free throwers that we have here at the yes. game day. Yes, 0%, chalks it up, goes for the old sneaky Ruski, doesn't come away with it. The sneaky Ruski. The Vi Devi, he says, as he tries to bring it to the net. All right, win. Go. Now, go, 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 go. As we look over to Mischief, he almost knocks Comedy Russell out to e Rob somehow with sticky enough fingers to regain control and not shake it is Comedy Russell. Oh, e Rob. E Rob jacks up another three. Oh, a hard foul from Miggs. And we have our first timeout of the day. What the hell happened to the basketball? Things are getting violent. Things are getting sloppy. It wouldn't be an OTK stream if it didn't devolve into madness though. Isn't that right, Rich? That much is true. I'm expecting a production issue to come in at any time now. It looks like we're going to be able to hear some words from Maya. So, Maya, how do you feel about Minx activating her wild card? I'm really excited for her. I think that she's going to make a big difference on this team. I think everyone else is just tired now, so, uh, and she's not tired at all. She has stamina and she's ready to go. She's, she's fighting and she's fighting and she's dude, jumping on their backs. Europe, do you want a tampon? Do you want a tampon? All right. They got tampons. Start the game. Tampon for your vagina. Start the game. Okay. Start the game. You ready? You ready? You have to now, get your final wild card. Are you angry? I'm going to make more than me. I am lost by that conversation. Were they saying that E Rob needs a tampon? I I am truly confused. Oh, I think I think he hurt his nose. I, oh, honestly, that happens when I hang out with Seer too much as well. The blue team needs to chill as we bring the camera back on down to the court. Yeah, he's not Christy. on the floor now. He's got to get a, a tampon in his nose. The blue team, Rob, oh no, goes to the deck, but gets the dish off. Miz saves it. Sierra, a beautiful pass, but Rob loses it under the bucket. Maya on a breakaway. Another savage foul from Miz Kip on Maya. Miz. Miz has absolutely no chill today. Run whatsoever. His breakaway. He's going full Ike Turner on him. I'm actually an incel. Oh my god. We hear the calls from the court. Miz finally gonna let her get by. Gonna let her slip away. He's gonna be thinking about her for a while. Press a nice, slow approach. He looks confident. Look at that stride, a little speed now, and a dish to Rob. Rob, the triple team, gets the ball away. Soda Pop and misses it. Rebound, Rob. Slows it down here. A dish to Miz. Miz, a nice ball to Soda. One of the more consistent shooters on the day. Miz dishes inside. Rob looking to make something happen. Goes in strong. Rebound blocked by the rim. And a foul call. Apparently the ref has just given Minx a license to bite and punch. Minx is out for blood in a way that I have never seen before. Now she's the, the, she's the Irish Mike Tyson right now, just punching and biting her way into the record. She's sprinting around the court. She is absolute zoomies at this moment. Oh my God. The ref has to step in at that point. The, the ref has seen enough of just a ridiculous foul from... from <laughs> She grabs Mrs. wrist and wrenches it off the ball. Who invited her? Here we go. The bench getting involved. And Binks touches it, but he's going to be here. What? What 
It's Christopher with the floater, looking like Steph. Watch mine in the back. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. What a steal! It's an insulation. And the foul! Oh no. Rob is down, and if you're the blue team, you do not want to see that. He is holding his knees like a mute halfway through his Saturday streams. Rob is looking beat the fuck up. Oh no, Rob limping, and the blue team is shaking. This was by far their most important player. Who are they going to replace him with? Seer? Certainly not. Rob staying in despite the injury. He is Playing looking a little injury. bit battered, but he does get the ball on over to Miskiff. Oh my Ooh. God, another. That looked like a face slash testicle combo shot there. The old one-two punch straight for the nose, then grabbing the peach. It's going to be Miskiff running on the sideline, farming as much sympathy as he can off the internet. Oh my God, this is the Valkyrie situation all over again. But we yes. are going to reflect the camera away from him and take a look over to where the action is as the players line up for the ball to be back in play. It is going to be Miz then, who is going to get this one started. Miz with the ball. Miz injecting himself into another situation. Okay, here. that's that's a penalty right there. You only have five seconds in on it. Oh, loose ball. <laughs> okay, some, something woke the ref up. I don't know if he drank himself some game fuel, but the ref is alive and making calls despite being relatively dormant for the rest of the game. The ref has gone into overdrive. He, he went from being one of the laziest mods you've ever seen to being a Pokemon. He is not letting anything slide today. And now Four it's going to be Rob. Three, two, a foul as the third quarter expires. It looks like Rob will be taking two from the line. Rob has got his money's running out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We got one second on the clock. We got the lawyer pissed. The He's lawyer gonna... making his case to the jury now. He didn't like that call. Redemption arc for the ref. He came back after halftime like an anime character after the time skip. He is all powered up. It's going to be BJP making a little bit of noise, trying to throw Rob off kilter, but no kilter to be found. Still just one point in the lead for the blue team. They cannot make this any more than a one possession game. Looking to get that extra point up on the board. He's not going to be Rex able to get both it. One oh, second. Oh, and you have just a bit outside that that full court shot from Cypher just inches outside the basket. Oh my gosh, that was a, that was a bigger miss than the OTK Easter event, but we won't talk about that as everybody brings it on back to the bleachers to get ready for our final quarter of the day. That's right, with one quarter to play, we have a one point game. Rich, how do you feel it after three intense quarters of violent basketball action? I'm hating my life a lot less than I thought I would right now. Uh, and now I'm going to throw it down to somebody who definitely hates me. It's going to be Milena down on the court. Well, we're back here on the court with the most violent player ever and a soda pop and a violent no, player. No, I miss Kiff. Miskiff. Oh, you're answering for Miskiff today. Yeah, I'm really scared of the women, and so I decided, you know what, in, in, a, in a different world or reality, I'd have someone take my place. So yeah. I, Miskiff, am scared of the women. Hmm. How do you feel when you slap Miskiff in the face with the best feeling ever? Um, I didn't touch his face. He's just being a, a lying crybaby, but it felt really good body slamming into him. I am a loud them. crying bitch, um, and I agree. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, so the score currently is 39-38. Uh, who, who do you guys think is going to take it home? Us. Who's winning right now? We're going to win. I know, but who's winning right now? By one. It's oh, been so going back and oh, forth so, the whole Okay, time. but we're winning right now. Hmm. We're, okay. well, no, we have a whole quarter to pull it together. Well, you've been saving your energy, yes, clearly, because you're, you're just now starting to body yeah, slam I'm people. Yeah, I'm getting a little so, bit more... Do you have any secret cards? Um... 
No. No? No. How do you feel about Erob is bleeding from his face? I feel really bad and I want to make sure he's okay. You ever watch like, like in the anime, you know, like the basketball animes and stuff, it's like, there's always that really like the, the mean team that no one likes because all they do is play dirty and That's beat up the other them. team. They don't actually have skill and talent. We have someone with a bloody nose. We have Ms. Kip with a scratched eye. Rob has been put in the ground like seven Cypher times. Cypher PK has like a concussion. Yeah, he hit his head really hard. I got hit in the head with the ball. And he, I'm he, he tripped I'm himself. Not, I'm we not sitting even there. over there. We weren't even there. <laughs> we have players bleeding. We, e Rob is right there, bleeding out of his nose. Don't film it. Blood to us. We can't film it. We can't film it. Yeah, he's oh, actually no, no. bleeding. <laughs> no, that's why we have medical here. But yeah, okay. So good luck. This is the last quarter. Hey, uh, the towel. There's a lot of water. Last quarter, and good luck to you, both of you. Thank you. Can Thank we see you. a nice friendly handshake? Made the no. best team win. No, 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 no friendly handshake. No. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. 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 Back to. Rich and Will. <laughs> wow, so, Rich. I don't know what it is, man. It, it's only when you're wearing an outfit like you're wearing today, you look so much like Soda Poppin'. You guys actually look very similar today. Uh, he's all blushed up right now. He's looking a little bit flustered, and you two just, you look very similar. Uh, interesting. I'll take it. Uh, you know, as long as... Uh... I don't have the thin penis. I think it's a compliment. No, bad blood between these two teams going into the fourth quarter. It looks as though actual they blood. are both. Yeah, actual blood, bad blood. They seem to be very angry at one another. Uh, just about as many injuries as I expected here, though, for four quarters of basketball. A little bit more blood than I thought that we would see. A lot less vomit. I'm impressed that these players were able to hold their cookies quite literally as we are going to be approaching the final quarter of this game. 12 minutes to decide it. We have not, we have seen the lead flip back and forth nonstop, an absolute switch of a game. But the question is who will be dominant in the final moments? Do you have yep. a prediction here, Will? Ah, you know, coming into this game, I thought it was going to be all red team, but an unfortunate head injury to Cypher PK, a traumatic concussion, might have affected his layup and jump shot ability. I think that the blue team is going to weather the storm. If Rob can stay on the court, I give it to the blue team. This, this reminds me of an old basketball story that I knew back in the day. A team may be considered a little bit of underdogs, but it really is that sixth member of the generation of miracles that can pull it together. And as we look at the blue team, they have had moments like that time and time again. Are they going to be able to take it all of the way are they going to be able to keep this synergy going we had a lot of faith in palm we had a lot of faith in cypher pk i think s fan may be being a little bit of a letdown compared to what we've seen in other game days but maya higa being yeah. one of the players who did step up to say the least yeah and, and the other uh, unlikely hero soda poppin with three for five on his day just making the majority of his shots seldom shoots but when he does wet Soda's probably had some of the least time on court as well, but every single time that he has made it onto the court, he has made it worth his team's while making sure to really take advantage of the economy of his time on the court. Only 12 minutes do remain. How much can Soda make of it being one of the more fresh players as we do look around at the faces of our athletes? Do you see anyone looking particularly tired here? Ah, oh, man, well, it looks like Rob is still on the bench. You know, the, the weight of his team firmly on his shoulders. He has a triple-double already going into the fourth quarter, which is absolutely absurd for a, for a game like this. Let's see if he can continue to carry the weight of blue team on his shoulders. Hey, Ms. Kiff showing no regard for anyone on the red team. Cypher looking for an opening. He's a gonna little Euro step there. Yeah. yeah. Russell with the steal. Russell with an insane sky ball dish. The pass to Christopher. Christopher behind the back. He's got E-Rub. He's got Russell. He's going to pick Russell this time. Russell going to be completely boxed out by both S-Fan and NMP. And that's going to move this over to the top of the key. E-Rub not going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Higa. Seer. Oh! Higa! 
violently slaps Seer. The ref must have missed that one. He's been hanging out with the animals of Alveus just a little bit too much because she is acting like an animal here today. He did not going to go toe to toe with Ms. Kiff, trying to keep as much space as oh, possible. Steal. Poor Seer. Oh, my God. oh, oh steals it back, completely redeems himself. Gonna be Ms. Kiff, depending oh. on E Rob as usual. Little gotchy oh. hyper action there. Uh, looks like they are going to do just a little bit of pants wrestling, but now it's going to be hands up for Seer as he asks for the rock. He goes for the toss. Oh, man. That is not going to bode well for Seer. Still a one-point game already. One minute and 30 seconds in. S-Fan trying to redeem himself over to Higa. Higa's going to be able to wiggle her way through. She gets so high off the ground. How play. Wow. Nick Pollum lays it off the glass, just a kiss off the glass, and we're at 40-39. 40-39 in favor of the Red Squad. Russell trying to change that. So, What's up? the Sky Ball! <laughs> truly, truly beautiful stuff coming out from Comedy Russell. Being a little bit more serious today. Not a bad play by Maya. Cypher's going to be able to salvage it as well. NMP looking for a three. It's going to be BJP. He's going to drive downtown. And he's going to try to look for a pass. It was not great, but Cypher's going to be able to redeem it. Just like he's redeeming V-Bucks. And it's going to go in. It's going to be 42 to 41 in favor of the red team. Uh-oh. Blue team's enforcer comes back in on that note. They think he's had enough rest. I assume he's in through the end of the game. Let's see if Rob can take control of the game like he has been thus far. Already dished to Rob. The double team dishes it back out. E-Rob, E-Rob, deep ball. Mizkiff on the perimeter. Jackson up. Bang! The trap! from Mizkiff when his team needed it the most. Mizkiff really showing up here. Some would say he is a good teammate, but not many. Maya going to completely miss the point there, but it is BJP who is going to be able to go for one more effort. He does not want to give up, but Rob, way too strong as Mizkiff tosses that about as hard as he can. All the way to E-Money, to E, back to E-Money, potentially. Cypher PK is going to bully him down to the ground. Christopher Yi milking it like it. We're back in the soccer week in the ref. He's going to bite. Yeah, he, buy, he buys the flop there. Flopping, flopping like LeBron James. Oh, no! Off Russell's toe. Cypher in face. Get your shine box as we see Red try to drive it on in. The ref going to be making a call right now. And I do not know what to expect from this ref at all. He is more erratic than our players somehow. As we yeah. see BJP find a good opening under the net. Cypher PK going to try to bully it in, but he's not going to be able to bully it in and like he was able to bully Christopher E. Now he's looking outside. Maya going to be wide open. He tosses the rock on over to her. She's got BGP to support, but she goes for the three. Into the bucket. Old Butterfingers S-Fan, but redeems himself, grabs it from out of bounds. BJP jacks it up. A no oh! Tampon in the nose. E-Rob gets the rebound. Tampon in the nose, E-Rob tries to stuff the ball as well. Back over on the three, he's got bodies to work with, nice and slow, on over to Mizkiff. The tempo's starting to change. Mizkiff with a concerning eye, looks on over to E-Rob. E-Rob brings this ball straight to reality. Oh and my it God, is Raffle Gator. Raffle Gator goes up, gets his own board. Oh my God, he looks tired though. Jesus, he is he is walking. That that exhaustion is concerning for the blue team. Has to be. I I definitely do agree with you there, Will. An important thing to keep in mind: he's relying on size much more than anything else. But size is something that he does have a very different strategy than what we'll see Soda Pop and use. As we now look on over to Cipher yet again, who has really come alive in the later quarters of this game. S Fan going to miss the mark there yet again. Not able to convert a point yet. It's like he's saving up DKP for later just waiting for the right drop. Christopher Yi, known for his speed, tries to drive it in. He gets past everybody, can, barely keeps control of the ball. S-Fan using that size, the dish, 
Nick, the dish to Cypher. Cypher on that right shoot block to Maya. Maya almost being challenged by the blue team to take another three-pointer. Almost being challenged, but she is not going to be too scared. Mizkiff now going to take possession of the ball. He's got men all over him. He still gets it out to E-Rob, now to Rob. Rob now has to move the ball down court, which is gonna be tough for him in his current state. He's got E-Rob for support. E-Money looking for buckets. No, it's gonna be Russell. He takes a step back. He's gotta go back out to Rob for the three. It is going to be E-Money to E. He's out, he's out, he's out. He grabs it. What is the call there? What is the call? A very early jump ball. It seemed as though Christopher still had full possession of that, but who knows? Cypher Piquet. Is that a shooting foul? I don't even know. Here we is. Go. The ref is hungry. I think we might be paying him by calls per minute, and by God, he is getting overtime in the second half of the game. 42 to 46, Cypher has not been able to convert a single free throw so far, and he is not going He's to change that with this one. Continue that trend just a bit outside. Oh, he's, you hate to see it, this poor athlete in his head, or, or badly concussed, or both. And he finally gets one to go, making it a one possession game. And making it a 1% conversion rate from the line. Mizkiff over to Russell. We have a game on our hand, folks. Christopher. Christopher to E-Rob. Rob has just made it past half court. I mean, he's just full tilt walking now. Factual and true. This has been a battle of the Robs. And now we are back over to the red side. Nice motion coming out from Higa and Paula, trying to just create an opening on the outside. Russell is like, where are the bodies? Is anybody on these folks? But it's not going to be enough as the blue team once again slows it down. That has been Ms. Kiff's MO throughout the entirety of this game. Just trying to dictate the tempo like we are watching Whiplash. And Whiplash is something that a lot of these players have experienced with the violence and carnage that OTK game day number three has brought. Oh yeah. BJP, space just to cipher. Five, five minutes on the clock now. Three points is all that separates him. Cypher PK will drive dishes to Maya. Oh, close there for Maya. Oh, a dish down court. Go back to the cherry picking technique, but it's picked off by BJP. BJP drives to the key. Dishes to Nick. Nick to the open. Off the bottom of the backboard. Denied by the backboard. Dishes again. Stolen again by BJP. Are we watching a replay? No. That's two quick steals for BJP. It is Pollum getting shut down faster than when he attempts to make a joke on his stream. He was pogoed by the glass. Is this a timeout? What is happening here? I don't know. What, what are they doing? They're wandering around aimlessly. I think all of our players have reached their limit. Man, this is looking like an OTK holiday event. Absolutely no direction, no guidance, just a bunch of idiots walking around in circles, hoping to find a good clip. Pretty soon we'll have them making terrible jokes, walking up to the camera and being the narcissists that we all know they can be. The ball is still not in the hands of any of our players as they start to move closer and closer to the camera. Desperate for attention, they are nothing without their chat. When the stream is not live, they cease to exist. That's right. And I see the chat starting to get restless. They want Jeff. I mean, a crowd favorite, a late round draft pick, and a guy that's been a hero in this game thus far. These people want Jeff. Let's see if he makes it into the game here at the end. Young Jeff, always a crowd favorite. He's barely even suited up at this moment. The jersey has already come off. Yeah, he seems to be using his jersey as some kind of napkin or, or, or I don't know, sweatband, I don't know. 
he, he looks like he, he's he's about to, to go to dinner. He's like tucked the jersey in. Yeah. Uh, Maya now going to be getting a solid pass here. But Roman shuts it down. Soda Pop and trips on his own feet like it's a clip from four years ago. Rob tries to toss it to the left, but he finds a man centered up. Russell, pitted, whoop pow Looks for Christopher Yee, but this one is not going to be glassy. No, it's going to be out of bounds. That's tough to see. Both these teams are just really failing to connect in this fourth quarter. You see the nerves playing a factor. You see the, the fatigue starting to really show. And the ref is saying something. He's making a call now. Let's try and listen in. Oh, we lost the ball. We have the ball now. Ball goes to BJP. Not too much to be gleaned from the calls of the ref. As we do see Red get this one started nice and quickly. S-Fan going to be the powerhouse. The Red Wall as he moves forward over to BJP. A little bit wide, and it's going to go to the bleachers. Oh, oh, the S-Fan should follow the ball. <laughs> oh, and S-Fan is yelling at BJP. Miscommunication. Tensions are high. You hate to see teammates go at each other like that. I have to say... S fan every week besides this week. He was on my list for MVPs. Basketball, not his game. No, not even close. I don't think he has a single bucket. Whoa! Bretornese going for a vicious strike. Oh my gosh, she uses her full body. A savage takedown. What is happening on the court right now? I don't know, but why is E Money smiling? Nine months later. Sponsor stream. Is that a free throw? His eyes went wonky there for a second. He has no idea where that ball is going to go at this moment. He is in a daze as he slowly slides back on over to the court. He is all ready to go, torqued up, looking for a shot to be had. And it is going to be called a double dribble, I believe. What? Our first double dribble of the day. There have been hundreds, but I don't know why that one merited a call. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? As we take our look at the next possession, 43 to 46, and folks, only three minutes and 45 seconds on the clock as it's dished out to the outside. Red team not able to close that gap at all. Another foul called. The ref going to make the most of his time in these three minutes, just showing that he really knows the rules. Yeah, and I think, crazy enough, the blue team might make their way into the bonus, meaning that penalties from this point forward, no matter what they are, award a trip to the line, Rich. Well, regardless, the ref has started to farm more Pagos than even Palum as we take a look at Cypher on the outside, and he's just going to try to do it all himself. E-Rob can't shut this one down, though, which means Maya's going to be able to get it back out to Cypher. A shot goes in. Nothing's going to come of it. And once again, we are going to see Britt make this ball look flat. It's going to be BJP, though, who gets it at the top of the key. Another call. BJP to inbound to Maya. A real paint presence there. Sort of rips it away. It's getting physical. All oh, between Maya's legs. S fan, a chance to redeem himself. They're building a structure around him, it looks like the ball is loose, and I think that'll be a blue ball. Only two minutes and 50 seconds remain. Uh, the red team need to find some answers and quick. The ref wants to make sure that there's absolutely no cheating going on here. We could have used him on OTK's hit show school. Now it's going to be a cherry picking strat. He's away and easy there is. W. widens the gap with only two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Red team desperately searching for answers as the clock ticks down. They look beaten, they look lethargic, and a smartly taken timeout here for Red Team. They're gonna talk it over. 
time to take a timeout, and during that, we get to reminisce to a little bit earlier in the game when that exact strategy that Erod was able to use here to widen the gap was the strategy that got them the first lead that the blue team did see, and that amount of points, that generous lead, that wiggle room that they were able to afford themselves, that is still going They're to be doing like a little time out here. Now, so and now the ref showing just how much attention he does want as he gets a bucket for himself. This guy should be a streamer. Absolutely. Now, I, I, it looked as though, oh, a little pep talk for Soda Pop. Fuck out of here. Get out of here. Oh, and he tells us to get this the here. fuck out of his hey. face. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Oh, oh Seer now attacking the cameraman. Oh, okay. All right. Wait, let's talk to Nick for a second. Nick, how are you feeling after that cramp? Melina, it's like sometimes when we have sex, I, I just can't do it anymore. The cramping? Yeah, you know how it is sometimes. I don't remember. Yeah, well, yeah, I cramped up. Just look, good luck. Apparently, Nick is having a dick cramp. Talk to the ref for a second. Jeff now wearing his jersey in a brand new way. Talk to the ref. All right, everybody is Pago and Nick. We've all been there. How do you feel about all right? these foul plays? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, this is the, 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 the aspect of the game. You try to keep the clock from moving. So if you make a foul and you don't make the basket, lost. <laughs> I, I totally agree. All the, all the women are going crazy, actually. They're, it's like... It's like they ate a crazy pill and now they're no, attacking you, you know what? You know what? The, the, uh, the red team got a, an attack dog to get in there and do the dirty work. Yep, you know yep. Notice the guys don't do the dirty work? No, no, <laughs> they're they're playing pretty foul. I, I totally agree with that. What can you say? And that's the way it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way it is. We got two minutes and 26 uh, seconds <laughs> left on the clock. We'll put Finn back in his little tower and uh, we'll get back to Rich and and will see you soon wait let me help you yeah. Let's go back. back here in the booth we have just two minutes and 30 seconds left i'm on the edge of my seat red needs points right now this possession or i think this thing is going to wind up pretty soon here what do you think, Rick? No minutes, and they have to convert. It's not going to be easy at all, and they need to shut down Blue as well. And E-Rob is looking like he is all greased up. He's been sliding in and out. And the question is, will Blue Team be able to stall? If the Blue Team can stall this out, that would be huge for them. And Red not having a crazy tempo here. Still only two minutes left, but now once again, oh, it doesn't go in. That's going to go further away from them. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. That bucket was so close, but they get the ball back. They need points here. Cypher needs to make a play. They've got to go to their star. Oh, no! He went for the dunk. Oh, Ashfan left her up there. She's dangling. Someone help Maya for the love of God. I am. She's still. She's down. She's down, and she appears to be uninjured. But the scoreboard appears to be uninjured as well, as it still has not received a single scratch from the red team. They cannot close this gap. Cipher getting shut down. Soda popping all over him like it's a furry convention. Whole oh, Cipher PK. You got an open body, but he does not have any faith in Brit. It's going to be S fan looking around. He doesn't want to pass either. Cipher PK again. Neither of them want to pass to the girls on the team. No faith at all. It's a two-point game! BJP from another fucking area code! BJP, the hero that the red team needed. Now it's going to be E-Rob. S-Fan gets a tip on the ball, but his mitts are not going to be able to slow it down enough. Russell looking to shut this one down. Oh, he's to do it here. He's to the clock. Right for PK, looking for an opening. They're taking their time here if they don't want to rush. 47 seconds on a basketball court is an eternity. BJP, the man who made it possible, looking for a good opening based off of the back of his three. Maya looking for someone to pass to. She says, I'm going to take it downtown myself. Russell shuts her down. Brittany saves it. Back to BJP. Can he make this in the next 30 seconds? He does. He does. Sweet Nana 
Charles Walker, we're going to overtime. Well, this is a game day that the people will remember. Red versus blue, 48 to 48. Who will take this basketball game? We're gonna find out as the players start talking a little bit of shit. Miz and Erob going to be happy with their performances. Let's hear from the team captains before we get to overtime. Yeah, let's hear it from the team captains, guys. How do you guys feel about this? The camera, the microphone is actually up here. So how do you feel about this? Dude, I feel good. This is the best game of the year. This is a good game. We're going four minutes overtime, 100%. Yeah. I think we got this. Um, I got nothing to say because I'm bad, so. Oh, you got to pick it up. Four I, minutes left. I don't, I'll give it a try, but we'll see. You'll see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good, luck. Good, luck. good script. Four minutes left. Good script. Four minutes left. It's like a Disney movie out here. Four minute overtime, a wow. full court miracle. You have to give credit where credit is due. BJP, clutch My as fuck. God, B jumper P, they should call him because he hit a three ball and a two ball from deep, and it just looked great. On the blue side of the ball, unfortunately, it looks like Christopher suffered a rather nasty injury to his ankle, but he's still out there on the floor playing through injury. Uh, oh, there he goes. He's heading off the court now. Just four minutes. You're going to want to make sure that you have your best lineup possible to make this a victory for your squad. Nobody's messing around now. We got our two tall men waiting yeah. for that tip off. By the way, one of the unsung heroes in that last exchange, Maya, coming up with two lost balls. There's the tip. Cypher gets it to the red squad. A kickball there, not called. Steal from Soda Poppin. Arms like oh wheels, my tosses God. like whips. It's going to be Erob who saves it back over to Soda Poppin. He goes right straight. Soda Poppin, ladies and gentlemen. Soda Poppin. Unbelievable. Dota comes up big when it matters the most. That is a three. The brothers trading blow for blow. Britt looks for one. It's going to be Rob who pulls down the ball to this stratosphere. Zier, having no idea what to do, he almost loses the ball. He can pull him all over him. Like it was a That's not blue. Waiting for the call. Red. Let's go, man. Red ball. My God. Red ball in the hands of BJP, straight to Higa. Maya, Three minutes left on the BJP. clock. BJP, BJP inside Cipher PK. Cipher's got to come up with something. Cipher out to BJP. BJP fake Seer, the spot up. Oh, that one just a bit outside. This has been the battle of the brothers. Higa though on the breakaway stops it, sends it back to her side of the court. BJP with the number three. versus Morris as the brothers trade threes on both sides of the court. Who will take this game, Soda Poppin or BJP? It's going to be e Rob to Rob, trying to keep this alive. NMP says, this is my game show. Yes, it is a scramble. Seer. Check the Seer. Seer to Rob. Rob on the perimeter. Rob to Soda. Soda. Misses. Pass it. There's e Rob with the put away. It's Blue too team. easy for E Rob. It is too easy for this man. The Morrises I are awake. Only two minutes left here, Will, as we see Cypher looking to this charge on it. Cypher! Oh no. This is one of the all time best Twitch sporting events I've ever seen. Chat, you will be able to say you were here. Just two minutes left. Oh, Almost no, fucking seven no, no, no. Jackson up doesn't come away with that one. Cypher! And there's the foul. Good God almighty, does he need these foul shots to drop. Chat, as he steps up to the line, I ask you a very important question. Where are you? As we get to the final minute of this game, the two Morris brothers have kept this close. What will Cypher PK be able to do at the line? He has been terrible at the line so far, and he's going to keep God, staying consistent even in OT. He continues. Look, he's, oh, you can tell he's disappointed with himself. The first overall pick, and he has not lived up to that pick today. He really hasn't. It has been some of the players that we counted out who have stepped Another up. Another brick! Christopher getting assaulted by Maya. Maya almost comes away with the steal. 
Nick, the center, dribbling from full court. He's gonna go the full distance. A dish. Christopher with the put away. That is Four huge point for difference. Yee. He has been quick the entire game, but getting points on the board has been difficult for him. But in the final moments, he will clutch again. 55 to 51. It is BJP, the jumper. He finds Cypher. He dishes it out to Britt. She's not able to get the point. Cypher almost maintains control. It looks like we are going to still have a red ball on our hands, according to the ref. This gift is starting to fight. Miz oh. fighting with his own mods yet again. Miz oh. is calling Sinek as we speak. He is not um, happy with this one. Miz saying he didn't touch it. Blatantly lying. Cypher PK spots up from three point land. Air ball. Maya! Goes right back! It's a three point game, a one possession game with just a minute. Maya Huga, the unlikely hero. She can dunk and she can shoot. Mizkiff taking all the time in the world. He is sweating. The blue team clinging to their lead. The red team roaring back. It's anyone's game. Hot OTV game day action coming at you. 50 seconds remain. Rob looking for an opening here. The blue team has slowed down the clock a lot. A beautiful pass. E Rob tries to put it up. It's Yi trying to put it up again. BJP now on the breakaway. He can't be a three pointer. There's only 40 seconds left on the clock. Cypher needs to convert. Another a call foul. from the ref, a foul oh coming in. Oh my god. They need Cypher to hit these buckets. He has taken approximately, at this point, it's actually been 10 free throws. He's only made one. He takes the line again. Will he be able to? Oh, it's oh going to be nothing but a stop. But if he can get this point, it makes this. it an a even tighter game. Right now, they need a. Uh, okay. And he bricks another one. That point would be so oh! huge for them. Miz out of bounds. Red Bull. Oh my God. Red Bull. 32 seconds. I am sweating. Okay. Red needs to foul. If Blue gets the ball back, they need a quick shot here and then they need to foul. Maya Huga from deep. Maya Huga driving. That's got to be a foul. No call from the ref. No call. I don't believe it. A full form tackle from Mizkiff and a no call. Oh, that's tough to see. E-Rob taking full advantage and he's going to steal another. E he wants to close it out in the last 11 seconds. He's not going to be able to do it, but Soda Poppin is going to be able to grab the ball. He looks to the outside of the court. Mizkiff definitely touches the ball this time as he looks for an inside man, but he throws it to Britt. That game is over. Gonna do it. In overtime, the blue team steals a win, 57-53. And Rob, how are you feeling about this game? Holy guacamole, what a game it was. As we take a look at our players, the blue team able to do it. And think about the moments that led to this. If E-Rob wasn't able to keep the game alive with those cheeky breakaways, if BJP wasn't able to clutch up, no, they we would not have had those lost. extra four minutes. Appreciate the win. All right, looks like we have interviews on him. from the floor coming up now. Hold on, hold on, and clapping it up. Get the person that's the Nowhere. Hey, hey, Fat Forsen, coming at you. MVP speech. How do you feel? I mean, what can I say, you know? It's a bunch of streamers. It just goes to show you, you don't need skill to be a big streamer. Well, Team Captain, here you go. Oh, my God. We did it. We did it, boys. Jeff, Jeff, tweet it out. This is the actual MVP. Somebody give Tweet me my phone. Hold on. Oh, we won. Yes. I I've never had a trophy. Give Jeff's ever. phone. I've never won. Woo. I've never won. Oh, it feels this so good. This is Ooh, a ballers. huge moment. Okay, Chris, the first victory for every single person on this team at an OTK game day. This is the first time for a lot of them to even be here. Deer is simply a, a, an aesthetic that you add to your team, so we don't count him completely. But Mizkiff, so happy to finally get that victory. Thank you for help to tweet this one out. They are ecstatic. Look at how happy they are. All right, now let's line up for handshakes. Make sure they see this. Yes. 
No, everyone should actually have the whole. I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it. Pass it back. Pass it back. Pass it back. Miz wearing his bandana like a babushka. Cypher PK steals the trophy. You could have done that with the ball during the game that maybe Red Team would be holding the trophy now. Really? Let's line up. That is true. It's tradition. You were godlike. Good game. You were godlike. Good game. You were godlike. Good game. You were godlike. F. You were godlike. You're lucky they stopped me from playing. You're lucky they stopped me from playing. You're lucky they stopped me from playing. Just take E1. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Hi, everybody. No they didn't let me take, so I was too aggressive, which is honestly bullshit. Take your trophy back. I don't want it. Yeah, tell them. Tell them. All right. Okay. I feel like I just have to say I let my team down. My old fat body gave out. I got leg cramp in both hamstrings, and my back gave out. I don't think anyone pays attention to that, but... I'd like oh, to make yeah. it clear that as the oldest feel? player here, I didn't get injured. So I want to make yeah. sure everybody knows that. I gave up. Thank you. You did a great job, Ryan. You, you're the reason why we ended up in Great in, job, Ryan. In, 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 in extra time. Oh, man. Espen, how do you feel? I peed in this cup week one. And nobody well, knows that. It's the same one? It's the same cup. Hey, also want to say... We couldn't afford it. We ran out of budget. Big shout out to uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel, helping us put this event on. Love it. Great job. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Will. And I think Rich was the other caster. Great job. I I'm I'm so embarrassed. I don't want to I don't want to hear so anything about this. All our friends. Hey, we're going to Hooters. Oh, can I come? Hey, you no. bitch. Remember when you traded me? Remember when you traded me? I came back and I won. I'm so And I scored a lot. Uh, and you got cramped up and you're a bitch. Oh. Uh, I'm I'm gonna, I'm not going to go sleep tonight. It's okay. I'm going to go spend okay. spend money. I need to spend money. Maya. Today was the closest I've ever been to dunking and I still couldn't dunk. Oh, yeah. You shot it way past the ring and then he left you hanging. Dude, it slipped. I was okay. so excited. Was oh, okay. Like, well, thank you guys so much for watching OTK Game Day. Here we were playing basketball today, and then we'll see you again for another OTK Game Day soon. We will go back to Rich and Will Neff. Bye bye. Fantastic stuff, Will. It was a lot of fun to get to hang out with you all day long, and I'm looking yep. forward already to the next game day. It's not going to be next Friday. We are taking a one-week break before we take to the grass for a little bit of football that's going to be on November 12th. But, Will, I think that these players play basketball a lot better than we thought they were going to. Yeah, I mean, tremendous effort from both teams. What a way to kick off your Halloween weekend here with us, OTK and Game Fuel. Make sure you come back November 12th for some hot football action. I might be announcing, hell, I might be there laying down some stiff arms. I'm Will Neff, joined as always by my co-commentator, Rich W. Campbell, a hearty thank you from uh, OTK and all the folks here that put on the event.